Excellent, it has arrived. Hello everybody, what's happening, what's happening? My name's Neil, welcome along to Midlife Motors. And I've treated myself. After working all those night shifts, I thought it was time I had something of my own. Now, on the back of the last video, the car has gone wrong and I thought I'd better get myself a code reader. I think it's something that a lot of people have in their, their arsenal now, if you're a, a home mechanic. I'm a little bit behind the times with that. And I think if you watch lots of YouTube videos, you'll see there's there's a few options out on the market. They get promoted by some of the YouTubers, don't they? The Car Carly's one that's that, that I hear getting advertised quite a lot. However, I have gone for an iCar Soft OBD reader. Now, the reason I went for this one is because, and thanks to everybody who helped diagnose the fault with the Mercedes, which is sitting through that wall there. It looks like it's a speed sensor that's gone wrong, a wheel speed sensor. Now, to find out which one, because obviously there's four wheels, I need to plug it in. And you start thinking, I should really have one of these. Just before we plug it into the car, let's just quickly run through what you get inside the box itself. This is the RC Pro and it's the 2025 edition. So hopefully, it's come preloaded with all the info for cars up to this year. Here we go, let's have a look, fancy box. I don't think these have, oh, by the way, it was, about, it was 213 pounds, which I thought was a reasonable price. In here, we're gonna have the unit itself. Great stuff. I think these, there should be a lead in here for Power. I don't think there's a battery in them. I think they, they recall that'll be that'll be for the diagnostics port. One end goes in the machine, the other into the into the car itself. That was the usual manual. Let's hit the floor, but I'm a man, so I don't need that. What else have we got in here? Ah. So yes, there's the power cable. So it needs a power supply. It doesn't have a battery inside. So I guess that plugs into there, and that will. USB, most cars have a USB, don't they? So hopefully we can just plug, plug that into the car. I think you have to do this with the ignition on, so we're gonna have power from the car anyway. I've just spotted, there's the memory card that comes also, but I think this one is preloaded up to this year, which is good. So this should really be plug and play. And what we've got here is, we've got another USB stick so that we can go online. You get you get lifetime down, upgrades and downloads with this as well, which is good, and it looks like the the little USB stick will go in there and you can download from the website updates. But we shouldn't need to do that just now, maybe in a year's time, we should be bang up to date. So that's everything we're gonna need. Let's go plug it in, find out what's wrong. Might drink some more coffee first. This is all new to me. Plugged it into the, the OBD port, which on this car is on the driver's side. And good news is, that seems to be giving it a power supply so we don't it's, it's it's come on straight away and it's come up with diagnostics so let's press enter and it comes up we've got to choose our manufacturer so i'm going to go across and choose mercedes-benz version 34 which is the most up-to-date one just pressing enter with it. so what it's going to do is it's going to try and identify the car using the vin number now you can you can put the car your car in manually, but with this latest software, it should it should fingers crossed be able to do this automatically. So enter, and uh, so it wants to read the car, read in the VIN code, and here it pops up. I know on this car the last three numbers are three three nine, so that is correct. So let's do OK, which is F one. And there we go, it's telling us it's an AMG SLK 55 and it's chassis number 172, which is what this car is. So, okay, again, F1. And it comes straight up, we've come straight to the page where it says auto scan. So with no further ado, let's see what's up. Oh, we've got to turn on this one, ignition to on. First time I've used the key. Ignition is on, F1, okay, go. So the scanning has started. I don't know how long this will take. I might have to fast forward this bit. A fault's come up already, which is uh, motor electronics, which is what we were expecting. I can see on the dashboard here, it's flicking through the menu as it's doing the scanning. So it seems to be scanning all sorts of things. Radar sensors, outer alignment, camera, parktronic, all sorts of stuff getting scanned here at the moment. 
fault coming up on a few of them, but I think that's probably to do with what we suspect, which is the wheel speed sensor. And we'll just left front. There we go. Very oh, well. The roof's working okay. Right headlamp. Yes, it's okay. And uh, da 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 da. Still going, still going, still scanning through. Seems to be on page on oh, 24. Instrument cluster came up, but that'll be because we've got all these warning lights on. Uh, sound system's all good. It seems to be checking pretty much everything. I think there's 34 items that get checked. No, 30. There we go. So, some faults have come up. Electric parking brake stability program. These, I think, will all be related to this wheel speed sensor. So, if I um, we're on fault, we're on the first one. So let's just uh, click on it, enter, and it will say read fault code. So we'll go down to that. Press enter, and here we go. The right front wheel speed sensor has a malfunction. There is a signal fault, or the message is faulty, which is what we suspected. So right front will be this one here. I've got the front wheel all stripped down now, and just in case you're interested or you've got a Mercedes, the part that we're looking to replace is this cable off the back of the hub here. You can see it follows itself all the way around, and it goes through the bulkhead behind the, the plastic arch liner. Now, fortunately, I've only had to take a couple of bolts out of the arch liner and I can bend it back far enough to get to the clip. This is a 10 mil bolt. So it's just a question of undoing, removing, and then I've bought a Mercedes part. We'll put it back together. Then hopefully the next time you see me, we'll be in the car and we can try and reset the fault code. The work's done. It's all back together. I'm just running another diagnostics and it's coming up with all the same fault codes because we haven't cleared it, although we've done the work. In order to clear the codes, there's a there's a there's a quick erase button F2 here. You'll see it on the on the display there. To do the quick erase, I've just it's just finished doing it. You have to turn the car on. There we go. Fire it up. Hit F2. It's running through the quick erase. The warning lights on my dashboard have gone out, and everything now. Says pass, pass, pass. Does that mean success? I think we've probably got to take the car for a bit of a road test. But I think we might have done it. I think we might have. I've got no warning lights on the dashboard whatsoever, which is the crucial, crucial factor at the moment. Okay, I have just pressed quick erase, but surely if there was still a problem, something would highlight let me move things around and let's go for a drive and just just double check road test is going well i've got the car up to temperature so i've been going for a little while now no warning signs i've tried the brakes I've, I've i've generally stamped on the throttle and everything seems to be okay so i think i think we've solved it i think we've learned a new skill we've saved the bill we've got the car back on the road quickly because i wouldn't have been able to send this to the garage again this month not after that last mega service bill and uh, the tires so I think I would recommend I think I'd give that machine a thumbs up I think it's something that we need to get into the arsenal of our DIY mechanics don't we because it's just clearing these codes understanding what's wrong it's 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 the way forward it's something that we need to do especially as cars get more and more modern I was a little bit nervous I was taken outside of my comfort zone a wee bit there I'll be honest with you so I'm glad it's been successful thanks very much for watching this one God, this road how can they fix a road so badly i mean i know the ride on this car isn't great but holy moly i shall see you again next time oh please hit subscribe give us a thumbs up i'm going to give this one a thumbs up because i'm happy the car's working again goodbye